I'm back. Continue. Turn forty one. Game is up. You you look really anemic down there. I know. He wasn't doing so good, Mister Stark, until the uh, the filthy elves elf things came down to uh, bail him out. Mm -hmm. I appreciate the friendship. I'm just saying, you look pretty anemic. <clears throat> You'll be right. Bait bowl. I mean, she came down to help you. I didn't even come down there. I just popped into existence. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's the most effort I've seen by an ally in the past three campaigns. <laughs> that's a net gain for me. I mean, I remember giving you money in at least two of those campaigns. Yeah, but nobody's ever come down in person. Well, uh, I mean, I want to get your uh, your feelings up that high. I mean, if you died, I'm pretty sure the campaign stops. Yeah. <laughs> Figured they at least put me in timeout. <laughs> no. Uh, I mean... I mean, really, if you think about it, I'm down here saving you so Gillum can play longer. That is correct. <laughs> <laughs> I think Gillum's had enough time. You hear that, Gillum? He's done with this run. He might be. But I'm still going places. Had had to beat off some green screaming retards. You and, still got to uh, beat off some green screaming retards. Yeah, I'm gonna get to them, Chief. Mm -hmm. I'm just uh, mm -hmm. building up. Oh, I believe you. What was I even mm. doing? Nothing good. Probably not. <laughs> oh yeah, I was kicking some rats in the dick. 
Thunder, uh, if you need money, now is the time. Uh, yeah, that will definitely take some money. Uh, uh, yeah, I still have two turns of having only half my fucking movement. Oh, God damn, that's some good as yoga. 19k, you can you can ask me for some. Uh, I'll take two and a half. Um, oh, oh man, man, thunder needed me bad. I'm gonna I'm gonna be like killing off Manfred, and then I'm probably gonna be marching south to kill the great bird. Yeah. There you are, I, thunder. I didn't notice the great bird just creeping up here. I mentioned it up. Uh, a few turns before we stopped what last night. What are you doing yeah. with that? I did definitely notice uh, the bird. I'm hitting that. Got a problem with it? <laughs> I was about to say, I was like, I can fight my fights, Chief. You don't gotta come bail me out. Well, I didn't war deck them. They decided to war deck me. And plus, I, I think I have a little bit of help with all that. <laughs> and... <laughs> And that. I mean, but they aren't as good as me. That is true. They that have true. wronged us. <laughs> yeah. That does remind me. I need to see if uh, I can interest Thorgrim in a defensive alliance so he can help me grow me tree. I like how uh, Vlad just took that and then just was like, I'm good. <clears throat> I'm good on that. Yeah. He just got done spanking, uh, Gelt and was like, "Hi, huh, Cat, I will fuck I, you up. You I, bite me like that again, you little bitch." I gotta, I gotta take a breather. <clears throat> Beating up these these Empire men was too much on my old undead body. Too much on my shitty undead body. Hey, if I was undead, I'd have to find something to do to pass the time. Like what? Anything, really. Anything. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. It's like if if that's all we could do and we didn't have people like dropping nuclear bombs and eradicating everything. I'm glad Scarbrand yeah. isn't uh, war decking me, I guess. Hell yeah. yeah. It's, it's on its way. Come on, Carl Franz. Come on over. Let's do the twist. Oh, man. I started sieging the fucking Pyramid <laughs> oh, of Nagash and the fucking bots started rolling in. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? I got a heroic victory. That's like the first time air. You know, we got one last night in one of your battles. Oh, oh I missed it. My bad. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Jeez, and I thought I was high. I think it was against the, like, nearly 7,000 Skaven. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, uh, one of them, uh, okay, that, yeah. Uh, right uh, I'm glad I have this army, because now I'm at war with everyone I know uh, north of me, Josh. Yeah. Um, four turns. Yes, I'd rather have the extra missile strength. Let's let's just be honest here. And let's just immediately go for the tech that reduces my global recruit times. Uh, oh my god, I hate my reduced movement. I'm just going to continue <clears throat> sieging this and see if the bots help me take this. Mm, that might. Depends. It really does depend. Go ahead and boop those. Boop, 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 boop. Well, I don't know. <clears throat> Because, uh, see. yeah, fucking Scarbrand's fucking pissed as shit at me. Scarbrand well, hates everything equally. You can't say that. I'm gonna let that finish Fair. up. I ain't gonna do no more with that. Uh, where's the Cult of Sigmar? Uh, I have no, uh, I have no idea. I can't really gauge their, uh, their thing. I'm just gonna fucking check the socials, I guess. Over here, like, Okay, I'm I'm actually improving with them. Um, oh, that's funny. Uh, Morgors went over and war decks Artosa and is starting to desecrate Telia. 
Okay. I am sending the uh, the sisters down to kill Morgor finally. There's two twenty stacks coming down on us, by the way. Uh I'm gonna bring Stanky back around. Yeah. I I'm moving that way, but I I don't really have armor mover maneuverability right now because an event, I had a random event like three turns ago that cut my movement my campaign movement by fifty fucking percent. Oof. Mm-hmm. But the duration of like four or three turns, I I hated it. They have wronged us. That's... God damn, that's one fat fucking scar brand. Mm. <laughs> I was looking at his fucking stats. I wouldn't worry about him. He just got slaughter and carnage. Slaughter and carnage. God damn. At least he's currently not unbreakable. And he's fucking taking vampire attrition right now, I guess. Maybe if I'm lucky, I can fucking run him across the goddamn desert. Run him across the damn desert. Run down the devil. Hopefully I can get some more monies um, coming in, and I'll get my... Run down the devil. Police it, he says. Yeah, what I'm hoping to do, if I can get some stuff going and I can kick these green skins in the center out, I can confederate. Hey, whoa, what's going on here? Scrim. Mm -hmm. All righty. My iron gut's going to be trouble. Mm Mm-hmm. You only got... No, he. Let's yeah. See. Next turn, I should be able to recruit some better infantry once uh, eight picks. I'm trying to remember, Josh. Doesn't the Grain Veil event trigger around turn 50 ish or something? I don't know. <laughs> I really yeah. don't know. The what veil? So when. When you play Wood Elves, there is a an event that will fire that will burn down Grain Veil inside the donut, allowing you as the Wood Elf player to take it without having to go War Deck Alariel for it. Mm-hmm. Let's see, they've got one province left. Um, and this is their two armies, so once they're beaten, um, the... now they're dead in the water, yeah, regardless. <laughs> but I'm just saying, um, they didn't want to fight the, the other dwarven boys, so they, they chose don't call it a comeback now. Oh, I never just said it was a comeback. Mm. Well, there you go. I'm honestly not even sure where to set up, Josh, unless like right here. The well, terrain is not really that perfect. I didn't see a ping or anything. I just said I just heard here. Because if the the right corner they they'll come up and over the hill. Um, mm-hmm. This left corner uh, aims down towards the water. Yeah, that one. Like, I only see two options right here, or just deal with the bad sight lines in the corner over there. Deploy here and use the uh, use the water as a non-maneuverable zone. They can't walk through it; it's too deep. 
Nah, that is a unpassable train feature. Yep. Uh, we can bottom off. Hey, Archie. Uh, Guard the. Uh, you want me to put some uh, on the other side as well in case they pass over? Uh, so this is weird. I fucking love this about CA. That is fake terrain. Oh yeah, yeah. There, there. You literally can't. Yeah, yeah. That yeah. that bank is fake terrain. I only noticed it because I couldn't like I was having trouble drawing like the line of the thing. You know, I would I would be as so bold as to just pull those units back and put them along there. Because they, they can't cross this. No one can unless they can fly. Come around. There they go. Actually, I need to go. CA and their infinite wisdom. Mm -hmm. There we go. All right. Mm -hmm. I'll speed it up. They're going to wait for the other reinforcements. Which is a bit silly, but whatever. <clears throat> it's almost and I'm, I'm going to bow this line a little bit, if that's good. That's it's fine. fine. No, I'll be so hyped when these grudge throwers are great cannons. They, uh, you no, put them in face. Yeah. yeah, That always gets me, because I feel like that flip-flops on me. You might be hitting the hotkey. No, I'm just clicking and dragging, but sometimes if oh. I grab at the bottom and pull this way, it'll do, like, they'll face right, but if I do it the other way, it so, sometimes will flip-flop on me, and I'm like, God damn it, just make up your mind. It, it depends on your camera angle. If you want them facing outwards from the camera, you drag left to right. If you want them facing the other way, like, towards the camera, you drag right to left. CC. And then if you just wanted to do a button press, it's J. The unit will oh. turn about face. You might want to slow her down. Okay, there you go. Uh, oh my lord, they're stacking like three or four. Of, yeah, there's four of the iron guts just coming over on the left side. We're getting more infantry on the right side, though. Well, if I'm going to do anything, I'm going to just hit those easy to pelt knoblars and make sure the iron guts have nothing to soak for them. Ah, oh, yeah, the devastation. Pulling the hammers back a little bit so that I can put them wherever they need to go. Kill hooks. There. Oh, no. And then the blasting charges. That's why I set the miners up behind the line. Okay. Let me pivot in over to the other side. Oh, God damn it, ogres. 
Uh, they use their mass to plow through the dwarf lines, and they're playing. One of the uh, iron guts is playing in the coilers right now. I forget, were the rangers uh, better or worse than regular coilers? It They're, depends. Yeah, it depends. They're faster. Um, but they have less armor. Yeah. Okay. And the only, the only surefire way they're better is if they're Bugsman, Bugsman Rangers. Mm. And that's a Regiment of Renown or something? No. Oh, that's just a higher tier. You uh, have okay. to max the ranger outpost and also have like a tier three brewery to recruit them. But essentially, they're just rangers that have uh, region uh, region as a unit brick oh, and immune to psychology. Uh, employed to uh, protect the bugsman's brew <laughs> or some such. Uh... They used to be in the tabletop. Bugman's Rangers were a specific group that when you deployed him, the Rangers that came in with him were Bugman's. Gotcha. Yeah. I was just curious because I know Bugman's Brew is supposed to be like the, the, the best. The best of the best. Yeah. So I was curious if he was just like, well, every dwarf hole needs Rangers, but I need Rangers specifically because my beer. <laughs> But maybe that's just how I would write the words. I'm not paid by GW to fucking make up lore or shit. You sure? He could be as good as most of the Black Library fucking authors. There we are. Army losses. No, I'm sure you're not wrong. Pete Gateguard killed less people, but they were all ogres. Yeah. I'm also kind of surprised I was able to hold the left flank. The bad terrain did not help them. No. <clears throat> This shit about to be fucking old as fuck. Oh, yep, they got deleted. Yeah. Bye. Yep. We we pushed them back, and uh, 
Thorgrim smashed yeah, them. Yeah, Thorgrim literally came in and just pulled their Hit pants with a down. Chair. Yeah, th he brought three armies over to just <laughs> destroy you them. You have wronged us. Yeah. They have wronged us. Oh, I've caught you, Malekith. Manfred's dead again. Berk! Berk! Berky, Berk, Berk! We call the man sisters Berk! Berky, Berk, Berk, Berk! I got a book. I got a book. I got to book. Oh, I've got to book. Here I go. Just a borking and a borking and a borking. Just a borkin. And a borkin and a barkin and a borkin. Oh, they say I got a bork. They say I'm gonna bork. Pretty gross. Why the fuck do you just have no movement? We are uh, given a few more turns. Uh, give them your garrison for eight peaks will have elven archers in it. Woo! Moving up in the world. Moving on up. Boop, 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 boop. Let me see what I got this boy equipped it with. Uh, let's see, that reminds me, I did need to get another army started. 
Did you just uh, take Antakta's turn, Chief? Uh, if it's the one I'm garrisoning, yes, because Manfred was raising an army there. Okay. I killed him. I killed him. Because I know Volkmar is fucking charging right towards Bagoth. It's like, I'd like to avoid it. Hey, I clicked he on him. He him. didn't seem to be at war with Manfred for whatever fucking reason. Really? Huh. Don't know why. Wonder what the fuck he's but doing. But it's what I saw. I mean, Scarbrand is just sort of. I don't know. I don't really trust them. But, uh... Do what now? Uh, sorry, I was uh, getting a drink. I don't know. Do you think I should uh, vacate Rostrow from uh, Cambry? Uh, let me look over there as I was globally recruiting another army they have sitting so I can send it to the Vale when it blows up. But You are not going to be able to fight Scarbrand and that other fucking 18 stack. Um, I'm going to tell you that right now for free. Well, I'm not at war with him, but I mean, he's That doesn't here. matter. You could be at war with him that turn. Yeah, no, I'm just saying, like, Chief. Well, what, what's the optimal option? Do I stay well, in the garrison now, or get know. out of it? Here to let me have Bracca so I can get that juice die. Um, um, what Brackvar? Yeah, I can help you take it even. Oh, I could probably take it, no problem. I just need the, I need uh, to die. It doesn't matter if you have it or we have it, old man. As so long as your trade partners have it, you have it. <clears throat> I'll give it to you, Gillum, because uh, anything that's not a wood, I just turned into an outpost. Okay, because I was like, I just need that die, and then I can recruit the last tier. Let's see. Yeah, I don't have access to dyes. I don't have access to medical plants, tusk, spices. I'll have you spices in about five to ten turns. Let's see, do I have... Uh, I'm to see if I've got furs. I know it's like a gray color, so I can't tell. Yes, I do have access to furs. So, yeah. You'd, you'd be getting them from me because I make them innately. Nice. And I mean, I make furs, wine, and timber, clay, and elven trinkets innately as part of my economy that I just have for, as trade goods. Uh, Hell yeah. Which the one for dwarves is always a stickler. Yeah, I know you want some fucking, I'll kick your ass. Oh, what? No. No, of course I'm not paying you. Sorry, I'm dragging you all in. Yeah, I guess it's a good thing I was moving to go fight him. Oh, the Oracle of the Siege? Yeah. He's right on Thunder Southern and technically Western border. He's, is he the, he's Antarctica boy. Yes. Yeah. Thunder, you just uh, you should have just forsaken everything and went. <laughs> and if you could have been cool bros with a uh, good old oxalotl, you could have uh, fucking cultivated him. Uh, Something about next time. That's what I'm hoping is going to happen with a uh, uh, crack kern eventually. Let's see here. We're going to be good buddies, uh, and I'm going to be able to confederate them. I wouldn't mind trading with you, Volkmar, but I'm trying to get a trade deal with uh, Thorgrim. <laughs> oh, Lord. He l literally forged, marched on top of it so he couldn't take it, but <laughs> so I'll have no issues taking that. Uh, let's see here. Pay me a bit more, Durthu. 
Then realize I wasn't trading with Durst. Another 220 stacks directly in the throat of uh, Rickarth's spine up here, but um, old Mother Stanky's going to crush them both with her wooden spoon. Right. <clears throat> give me your stuff. Yeah, give me your stuff. You're gonna give me your stuff when I fucking take your stuff. Oh, there's nothing fucking gain from that. Yeah. Ain't no time to do it. They hag at your barrel. Catch him, I catch him all. Gotta catch him all. Oh my god. Let's see. Just an old woman. Let's see, does this army have movement now? Yes, yes, it does. Okay. Apparently, it's just too many damn rats, I guess. 
Just a crown. I was like, surely I can auto this. And the game was just like, no, friend. Sorry. It's too many rats. And so, I mean, it is a lot of rats. I didn't think I was that wounded. Thunders or Iron Drakes? Or a mixture? Um, thunders will do more just straight damage. Iron Drakes are better against large units. Um, it probably a mixture. Probably, like, no more than two Iron Drakes with torpedoes. Um, or do you mean Iron Drakes with flamethrowers? With the flamers. I, would I, have, go with I haven't got that far yet. Um, if you get any of the flaming hoopers, just get like one or two. Okay. And put they're them up front. To, they're yeah. They're well. You kind of make them like a gun line, and you put them in the like the crevasses of your infantry line. I, if you want to use them, old man, I'll show you how to set them up. Oh, it's fine. I was, I was just double checking because I just got access to them and. <clears throat> I've got a mission to take out Bugahar if uh, you'll leave that to me there, Turf. Do what now? Uh, I have a mission to uh, take Bagar. Well, uh, you must come hurry. I would have took it this turn, but I needed my Eternal Guard to uh, replenish. Yeah, it's a not be so uh, perforated. I probably should have just ran the book over here instead of dealing with that rebel army. How do I convince the dwarf dude to confederate? Normally I can trade them a bunch of stuff and get them real happy uh, and then they confederate pretty easily, but uh, I think where he's a strong power. Oh uh, yeah, confederate Thorgrim is hard, citizen. Do the bots just give zero fucks about attrition? They mostly have mm -hmm. immunity to attrition, yeah. so yes. Yes. Yeah. On, especially on very hard, there will be almost immune to attrition unless you have something to. I was gonna okay. say, uh, Helgrim cool. down here is just not looking great. <laughs> uh, oh, why on God's earth is Dracha up in Grand Peak? I sure is something, I guess. Huh, interesting. Uh, only my dwarven units are taking uh, desert fucking attrition, I guess. It's because they don't have the correct stuff to resist it. Uh, yep. And now you know that uh, attrition is based on the unit. Indeed. Huh. <laughs> First time that's ever been an issue. Clearly haven't played this enough. May may start losing those. Be the best to ever oh. was. <clears throat> okay, I confederated with one of them, but they're not in, they're not in great shape. Yeah, you helped me, Gil, because uh, 
Greg Dramar is a Heathland. Since you're an ally, it's now giving me a plus one instead of uh, nothing. <laughs> Yay. Because the Forest of Gloom is one of my best uh, elf woods to get. Ha ha ha. Lucky rat man caught you with pants on the floor. Get I really fun. wish you wouldn't have killed Solastra there, Chafe. Uh, needed undead kills. I just I needed to fight them once. Ah. I was hoping you wouldn't have taken that. I forgot that you had this long list of I need to fight X. Oh, uh, what are you doing here? <laughs> Arkin, you get the fuck back where you came from, son. And good or ill, I'm in a defensive alliance with Thorgrim now. Alrighty then. Cause I want I want my full Heathland for the forest gloom. Nope. Uh, I'm taking your shit. I ain't having that shit. Yep. <clears throat> <laughs> what does the beast did you, you know, was that the name of the dwarf you got from Zufbar? What? Good old uh, dwarf lord Alaric Gitgold. Yeah. Nice. That's what he's doing, man. Yeah, yeah. That that's him. Money's for nothing. That's him in the flesh. Turn forty five, okay. All right, war tag. Goddamn Griswold von Karstein was just like, Nope, I am dipping the fuck out this city. <laughs> <laughs> God damn, that's funny. Look, like I'm just marching my army into the fucking sun. They really want to steal the Winnebago from me. It keeps being hurt real bad. Yoink. I replaced the uh, Mordheim Bell Wolves with the Oath Brothers of Tor.
I'm ready, Thunder. Hmm. Thank you, thank you. Please stop fucking talking at the same time, you creepy bitches. That is like weird. Kill me now, kill me now, kill me now, kill me now. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's Tarion oh. bothering you over. Hey, everyone. Uh, I was trying to wiggle a defensive alliance. Ah. But I couldn't make it work. Um, he was like, Go away, Kalita. The the fecundites are the uh, you wanted to take a big old shit across the empire, mere ass like a dog across <laughs> it. Burke, I'm gonna pay him, chief. Did he seriously thread you? Yes, he did. Who? Oh, Ryan did. Oh, well, I'm not gonna jeopardize that over fucking seven hundred gold. It would have been, he would probably have immediately sacked the Oak of Ages, dumb shit like that. I swear the bots are like, working through politician logic. Ah, well, I can't directly fuck them over so I can go through this minute. <laughs> Make me sick. Eh, I want to lose you. But I'm going to lose you. Oh, wait, I don't lose anybody now? Okay. I guess. Whatever game. Under slack. I did it. Yeah. Yeah, let me just take that experience. <clears throat> well, Scarbrand is doing things, I guess. <laughs> I like how the interim uh, lord for this army was named Ono. Oh, 
Let's see, Confederate. Yeah, show is a whole lot of oh no, friend. All righty, crap. I have to. Uh... You want to kill Wurzag with that, Gillum? No, I mean, yeah. you can, yeah. because I, I can just say, fuck that peninsula. <clears throat> that, that, yes. Okay, yeah, that was money. That was some battle money I needed desperately. There we are. Build those up. I do have a second army, but I've got to send them south to uh, start killing Fat Peppy because he's deteriorating against me. That's fine. Okay, let's see. Thank you. He's riding your cart directly over Malika's fucking property. Let's see, get rid of you. There's Orion. Guess what, Orion? You're now the Queen's champion. You're now the Queen's champion. Mm, that way, stalker. More to middling. Okay. They're not bad, but they're not good. Let's see. If you get some blessed cold one riders with spears, they can really tear some fucking butthole up. But, like, it says they're anti large and armor piercing and all this shit, but they just don't have enough. They don't have that fucking pump and dump like some of the other cavalry does. They don't have the models, or they don't have, like, the charge bonus, or, like, if, if a set of spear, like, Cold One Riders with spear hit the Knights of the Round, the Cold One Riders, even though they're armor piercing, would get fucking, bull, like, their assholes blown out, because the Knights of the Round would have, like, two or three times as much charge bonus. Okay. They just, they suffer a little bit too much. Like they're they're okay. They're they're okay cavalry. Um they do cause fear, but they also rampage. So Man O'Run, I feel like you should be like higher than fucking level eight, but I mean you are you are uh, an adjacent faction from me. So I guess I can't be too fucking surprised. Uh, damn. God damn, I gotta take that. Okay.
Okay, then a Lariel. Hmm, ain't that funny. I would need a defensive alliance with a Lariel and Tyrion. Oh, and a fucking, uh, Lyrian. Well, I guess I should go start diplomacy with Lyrian. Hmm. I feel like I could retreat and maybe try for a mm -hmm. better. But, uh, What's he doing? Attacking Krokgar? Yeah. It's a pretty fresh army aside from the fucking regiments. It's because Kairos is near my army. He's just sitting south of Orion's camp. We can give this a try. That's a pirate. Oh, they've got eight bold hell brass. Ah, uh, yeah, that that'd be why. Is he a son bitch? Uh, they just kinda, added him, and he can slap some cheeks. Um, it depends if he has his some of his special effects. If they've not been able to level him up yet, then he won't be that bad. But if they've been able to level him up, then yeah, he'll uh, he'll put a fucking hurting on you. Uh, the Lord he's attached to is only level six. Mm. That doesn't matter. General. Yeah. Well, yeah, but I mean, that might give us an idea of what level he might be, too. If he's no. just been attached to that. You, you would have to base it off Kairos' level, not the, ar not the general's level of this army. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, because they are cheats. Yeah. Yeah, he uh, Kairos probably had Eggbold before he was level twelve. Let's be honest here. The AI cheats are intense on very hard thunder. <laughs> Real intense. No, I didn't see the. Uh... See, the reason you've had such a bad campaign, Thunder, is that you didn't rename your starting uh, skink into Little Skittles. So you've just had a shit campaign. You know, you may, talk. You may be right about that. Yep. No, I uh, talk. If you would have named him Little Skittles, everything would have been okay. I'm kind of surprised that um, the only reason Otter Resolve gave you a Pyrrhic victory is because of the garrison. 
and the garrison is shit because take those back uh thunder those are those are actually main line they just have throwing spears okay Um, you want to deploy over on the right side and fight them in the open or what near your reinforcements it would probably be smarter yeah go go dino crusher go go dino crusher i know he's got some zangors in there yeah. I might try to do a cavalry charge through the wood line and try to sweep into the pink horrors before Thunder over can... here once again making that French column. Gonna fucking slam <laughs> into them. Man. Man, Thunder, if you... Man, Krakar's <laughs> only level fucking 14. Um, you, you know you can pull them out all at once. You don't have to individually clump them. You just just select them all and click and drag. I know, but I want them set up a certain way. Okay. Here, skinky on the flank. There's some motherfuckers. And me, cut guard, skink man. Oh, I that that's uh, Gillum. When you get the sky, uh, when you when you're able to recruit gyro bombers, recruit a gyro bomber for Belagar's armor and na uh, army and name it Chopper Five. <laughs> okay. Well, I've got one in the Runesmith army that I okay. can change. I think it's renowned, so I'll okay. change it to Chopper Five. Chopper Five. <laughs> Them the little shits already on the flying disc. Yeah. Um. Mm -hmm. Is he seriously coming over yep. to yeah, uh, to get volleyed to death? Absolutely. No, yeah. he's coming directly towards the uh, cavalry to unveil them. Yeah, because the bot knows they're there. Yeah. Working as intended. Oh. Uh, that that, that yeah. fucking uh, really hated them uh, them blessed sources. Yeah. yeah. I'm just slithering some of the skirmishers back through so I can you know okay. shoot at his dumb fucking ass. Well, we got flying carpets. Yep, those are the screamers that fucked you up in uh, Black Crusade, old man. You know what? Fuck them. Yeah, I'm just telling you. That's the those are the horrific fucking disc mouth motherfuckers that hit you for like a melt a bomb. Yeah. Ain't nothing I can do about them. They're in the I air. Mean, you them. Oh yeah, yeah. In that game, yeah. But here, I can't touch them. They got to come down on the ground. They might swoop down on you. Yeah. I do that probably tonight. swoop down on the chameleon skinks. Yeah. yeah. They're yeah. actually coming for the chameleon skinks. <laughs> it's all right. I'm just I'm shooting dude bro to death. They can they can do that they can do as they want. I've already won. You you have already won. Charge. Trumpet dumps coming to help. 
I'm trying to get over there, Josh. I didn't notice the third one had like slipped through the wood line. It's okay. They didn't get a really good charge on me. And where my yeah, they they didn't get a, any like a good charge on me at all. It's mostly the skink skirmishers that are being fucking put paid to anyway. Let's just sweep in here. Get the screamers off the feral stagadon, our regiment of renown. I was just trying to tie them up so you could maneuver the boys away. It's okay. They're they're doing a little bit of work on me, but uh, you, you let you kept them down to the ground long enough for me to come in and hit them with anti-large gillum. Go ahead and take the feral stag it on towards the melee. Okay, and I I pulled the rest of the screamers away. Yeah, yeah, there we are. Okay, I killed his lord and killed most of his air units. I'm going for a flank now. Yeah, I'm gonna start sweeping through the wood line to find the uh, the pink horrors back here. I'm going to get me. Under, you're trying oh, to pull the legion of Chakwa through Forsaken. As your only warning, you're just wasting models pulling them through another unit's brick. What about what now? You got units sitting back here in a column, too. You, you literally pulled them through another unit, Brick. Oh, uh, oops. Yeah, they routed. I didn't have them earlier. Thank you for reminding me. You got another router over here. Yep. Do not run them through. Do not run. Never mind. I'm sorry. I was coming to one of the only ways you're going to be uh, killing the Severed Claw. They're, uh, they've got 120 armor and uh, fucking bonus versus large and fucking 40-52. They're, they're mean motherfuckers. Forsaken or retreating over there. Need to get out of this and get around Hellbrass. Yeah, he's uh I'm getting rid of the aspiring claw. I'm just shooting into him with all my little blow poppies. Yeah, uh, Hellbrass didn't, he wasn't high enough level or they didn't put the points in the right place, so he didn't have his uh, breath of life either. Oh, man. There we are. Yeah, you got it. You did it. Yay. Much proud. Vaguely. Good old Zenith Lone Swarm. The Aspiring Claw killed uh, a few boys. They would have killed more men if they had a chance. I'm surprised the Zangors didn't kill more folk. They've got really good stats, but uh, no, you didn't use They didn't have armor, here. do they? Not much. Then they but got beat up by the Saurus front line. They do about as much damage as Saurus, and their, their gimmick is the more spells that are cast during the match, the stronger they get. Oh, wow. Yeah. They're okay. Um, for a mid-game for a mid unit, they're pretty damn good.
Are we using it? Okay. Dang. Mm -hmm. I lost one of them motherfuckers. Save a beer. Uh, they weren't blessed horses. That's all I can do, you. You can get some more. Yeah. Don't don't get as many Saurus warriors with spears either. Um, get them with just clubs. Gotcha. And try and get them with shields too. Yeah, Fat Peppy ended his non-aggression with me. <laughs> Fat Peppy. Yeah. Uh, uh, Mazda Mundi. Gotcha, gotcha. Uh, has Mustankia spotted Grom Brindle up there yet, or is he dead? I I, okay. He might be dead, friend. I'm just wondering if I need to consider uh, war decking Thoric or not. You may want to. <clears throat> Are you going to come north and help me with Nargothrond? Oh. You mean Nagarond? Yeah. Because I, I was, I met up with uh, Lithanar and I made a peace treaty with him. Oh, you were fighting him? No, I, I was beating up Clark Harond and I'm now like a neighbors with Lithanar, who uh -huh. has boxed in uh, Cleostra in her last settlement, apparently on the coastline. Well, I'm I'm fighting off an endless wave of uh, twenty stacks. So either shit or get off the pot, because I'm not going to be able to do this by myself. I'll be there. Like I'll just I'll just fall back to directly to. Uh, I'm gonna have to fight this. They say it can't be done. It's gonna fucking wreck my army if I take that. Uh, she had the sword king. <laughs> No, uh, it's just a siege, and it uh, it constantly says that I'm going to lose so many units in a siege. Yeah, okay. I know one time that happened to me. It was like, oh, your two armies versus their two armies, and uh, they they had about half armies, but they had the sword of Cain, and it literally graped like an army and a half. Yeah. Yeah. Sword of Cain ain't fun. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. See the uh, see the bitches with the big hair, Gillum, on the no. top right. Those are witch elves. They're uh, I haven't looked in. Oh, okay. Okay, I'm in. There. They were literally just on the loading screen, but. Oh no! I was just staring at the map. When you were trying to tell me about them, I was already in here, like looking at this. Nah. Let's see. Uh, man, why is it always this siege map for Dark Elves? Because there doesn't exist anything else. Because they're lazy. I uh, will definitely take that. Let's see. All right, you've got the Oath Brothers of Tor as bodyguards for old uh, Leonard uh, Golovich now, old man. And you've got uh, um, Shalia's Lullaby with three uses. It's a global AOE heal. And then you've got a potion of healing for him. Nice. And just keeping them together will give everyone surrounding him five leadership or uh, set 16 leadership and uh, 10 melee defense. So. That's a lot of guys with the. Uh... Actually, mm -hmm. I'm going to go over here. I was about to say it's a lot of people with bows. 
Yeah, that's uh, that's my Sheena ambushers. This is the same army that we've been graping. This is the same from. army that's just cheating. Yeah. Because this army should not lose any models in a manual while I resolve, I guess it will. Like how I forgot they made changes to stop you from being able to dump summons over the wall. Yeah. The snow, the snow leopard's down. The snow leopard. Oh yeah, yeah. I forgot you could summon them and shit. Doors open. Yeah. You hurting them shades' feelings? Those shades had no feelings. <laughs> That is lore accurate, yes. Indeed. Sandwich. Oh, no. She's got to give me a little friendly fire every mission to make sure... Uh, you can't get a perfect. Yeah. Got to strip about a thousand hit points off of uh, the fucking Winnebango and the... Uh, the other uh, <laughs> hero. I, I didn't know he was going to volley that. I was like, ah, oh, he'll shoot them shades running away over there. And it was like, no. <laughs> he needed to remind you that you were loved in your own way, Josh. No. No one loves me. I do. No one loves you in a way that isn't raining crossbow bolts on your skin. Exactly. No. Get son of a good, good old Granny's gumbo. <laughs> granny's gumbo. Man, Granny's goulash keep you alive. Yeah. Granny makes some kind of stew-like concoction, and you better fucking eat it if you want to live. No. We're God damn! Those. The Watch fucking out. dark shards and dread spears in here with zero zero attacks, attack fucking and defense. Pretty horrible. I ain't gonna lie. Oh God! Yeah, I saw that. Holy shit! What's <laughs> <laughs> wrong? Uh. Uh. Uh, god damn. Uh, no, that's, that's that good stuff, man. I like the old ember breath from the tree spirit or wind beast spirit. No, lady, you go away. Okay, thank you. It's all right. Stanky came down and ran her over with her cart. Ran, came down here and hit her with the old power scooter. 
We'll run fight our next one and then he'll. Are you doing a little better with the healing you get off of the. Yeah, I've been keeping them clumped up and so far outside of your uh, delicious gumbo, um, I haven't had to heal. Yeah, uh, the, the bango was a little hurt, but not like. Yeah, yeah, I was waiting on them to get a bit more. I just didn't want to cast it just to cast it. Yeah, you got three charges of it. Yeah, I know, but I was going to save it just in case we got in a position where I got volleyed real good. Just a um, crumb, just yeah. a few shots. Yeah, in case I foobarred and didn't realize Chief was shooting something and walked into it. I could, uh, I could, <laughs> I could salvage it. <laughs> the Patriarch isn't the best like com combatant on his own, but protected by the Oath Brothers of Tor and the Winnebago, he's, uh, you know. He can he can he can help so long as he's in melee. He gives them a ton of stats. Yeah, most time I just crammed him in there with the bears on the window bay, go on a single infantry brick, and they just slap the shit out of it for a bit. About the root. Yeah, I'm gonna have to start force marching back down because Malekith is gonna hit Drakarth Spire this turn and fucking just blow it apart. I can't I can't fight him. He's doing the AI thing where he's constantly recruiting two twenty stacks and every time I I brick one, there's just another one funneling down the pipe. And this this terrain is so fucked up that it's as soon as I go down one of the paths, he sends the army down the other path away from me. It's not the worst, but it's not it's not the best neither. Uh, let's see. Uh, Cloistra, my bust in your cheeks. Yes, you do not want a peace treaty. Fine. You had to come over near me. You couldn't just fight a Lithanar. No. And Yeah, this is not one of those. This is dumb. This is Vampire Coast Otters. All of his dumb. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's a lot of well, murders, Doug. No, it's Robert Barathony. <laughs> you sure it ain't Dicky Floater? Yeah, no, it's, it's the damn sure paladin. It's the six mortars. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, I'm pretty sure it's the six fucking I don't know. Mortars. I think it's Dicky Floater. Get old Dicky <laughs> Floater. <laughs> <Get old Dickie. laughs> God Can't damn. pronounce her name, Dicky Floater. I think that's a man. Yeah. That's one of that's the male portrait icon. Yeah. yeah. Oh no, I could have saw it as either gender. It's so yeah, so androgynously man face. Yeah, that's also <laughs> fair. That, uh, I, I was gonna say this guy knows how to build a fucking powder army. He could teach me a thing or two. Yeah, he could. The next time you play uh, Count Noctilus Thunder, if you don't have an army that looks like this, then you're just not winning. Yeah. Six mortars and two cannonades. That's enough powder. That's enough I don't even think I have enough fucking like archers to snipe all the artillery at the start. They're probably gonna get some shots off on you. I am quite aware. Let's do this. Uh, group that. Group that. Group them. There. Okay. Uh, okay. Let's start. Those poor deckhand mobs. Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> you said you wanted them gone. 
I sure did. That is correct. Thank you for the spirit leech, Mr. Flouter. They're they're gone, Chief. I've taken care of it. Amazing. God damn. Let's see how quick I can get rid of those fucking bombers. The buds have got to get out of here, though. They're being shot and fucking chased by giant crabs and yeah. Dicky floater came for me. <laughs> Old Dicky. The best. There we are. I made both of the uh, handgunners that were shooting you just shatter. Let's go just shoot Dickie. No, no. There we are. They're starting to disintegrate. Dickie's holding together pretty strong. Um, um, um. Nah, he's resisting. He's, he's resisting. He's trying. Goddamn. If I had to pop that old flame, it would slow the decay damage down. Yeah. <laughs> he was trying to resist. Man. Goddamn, those mortars didn't even get a chance. No. no, the AI was retarded and deployed most, almost all of them in the fucking wood line. <laughs> yeah, they couldn't shoot anything. If they wouldn't have deployed in the wood line, they would have actually done some damage to you. Yeah, that's why I had the uh, the deep wood scouts focus the cannonades who were not in the woods. <laughs> I shot two of the mortars with... Oh, uh, I saw. I was like, yeah. that just looks disgusting. <laughs> yeah. Well, I know that the mortars could do the most damage to you because you have no armor on most of them. Your yeah. your LB boys. The only things that have armor are the tree kin, the tree men. If they're going to be fair about it, and I guess technically the forest dragons. Yeah, yeah, forest dragons have some armor. I was about to say I thought wild ward rangers had a little, but they're only no, like what, they're 60. like they're like barely medium armored or something. Hmm. Barely. And even then, they have no missile block chance. Yeah, I forgot about that. Uh, not that that matters. Missile block chance doesn't work against siege equipment. <laughs> I know, but that's the thing about Wildwood Rangers. Missile infantry can just chew them up. Yeah. Okay. Run replenish. And of course, you're going to retreat over to Cloistra. Yep, so the second you push... Uh, that's gonna pull both. Wait, no. Uh, uh no, maybe not. No, nah, they're in support range, but I Ooh. have some skill points to spend on this army real quick. Like uh, getting a lovely pit of shades unlock on my spell singer of shadows. Get my money back on that. Oh, but that that might be the that might be just death for Cloistra. She's in March stance, and I and if it forces me to manual, I can force her as reinforcements. I 
I'm pretty sure that with all my hexes and curses, I might be able to reduce even Malekith down to like the attack and defense characteristics of a fucking Empire Swordsman. Pretty Players. disgusting. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let's see here. Cloistra, how about that peace treaty? Oh, I, I destroyed you and you're only positive one on this peace treaty? Whatever, you can just live with the Lithanar fucking keeping you like fucking boxed up on that coastline because I have better places to be. Okay. Let's see here. Yeah, grab rain of spines. Okay, and then you're going to take the dream boots from the sisters. You need more campaign movement. Malekith does want a peace treaty. I've warped his ass a little too hard. I'm coming west to try and help deal with the fucking, like, wind tunnels. Yeah. I'm gonna send Granny back down and around. That's fine. Let's see. To stop him from getting into the actual, like, heart of the, the Red Desert, because I don't have... I don't have everything, like, set up down there yet. Um, let's see here. Let's see, Ariel's chosen. Now, okay, you're both Ariel's chosen. Let's see. If uh, if your uh, army fighting Warzeg is good, Gillum, I might take this army back to the forest gloom. Yeah, go ahead. I never uh, help you enough, Thunder. Um, I do have twenty four thousand gold if you need any. <clears throat> Two percent ain't shit. Y'all are wondering why I have just nothing but stacks and stacks of Ashina ambushers. It's actually because until I go to Kislev, this is all I can recruit besides Tossars and Tree Spirits. Goddamn. Forest Spirits. Are you yeah. serious? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I cannot build any of the Royal Barracks, the basic military lines, or anything outside um, of the... Yeah. Okay, that makes a lot more sense for uh, Osiki as AI now. Yeah. Uh, I can make basic Kossars things in the woods and, like, spiders and shit like that. 
Alrighty. How fucking horrifying. Yep. Okay, I have resettled to Stalia. Eh, I really need to find something to blow up for money. You're feeling the deficit? Hmm? I said, are you feeling the deficit? No, I'm making 7,000 a turn, but I have a... I am still building up um, one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm still building six trees. Oh. All at once. Okay, then. Okay, that's pretty fucking pretty. I also just don't like uh, Kairos over there being fucking Kairos. Yeah, I've got Croxagar starting to head to uh, the other way. Because I don't really know if one of my uh, my uh, mid-tier stacks can deal with a level 29 Kairos in a siege battle. Yeah, I saw that down there. Maybe if I start fucking him in the ass down here, he'll uh, start moving. Uh... Let's see move to start start being getting ready to be an asshole to a Thoric <sighs> yeah throw them out the bit Man, you fucking high elves are such a pain to diplomance with. Okay. I contemplated cheesing him and deploying in the woods and just deploying 20 curses on his army and melting it. <laughs> That's well, what I was waiting on. I was looking at uh, stuff. Triggers from movement? Or... Yeah, it's the, it's the ones that get... No, it's the ones that every 21 seconds they jump to three targets and fucking spirit leech them. And I could put them <laughs> on every unit in the, the army. That's mm. disgusting. Yeah. So I could load in and just camp the woods and watch his army slowly fucking die. Heroic victory. Good job, Garrison. Yeah. <laughs> Great job there. But he has another army coming up behind, so it wouldn't have mattered. Nah. Uh, pay me a little more to Backland. Uh... Yeah, that's fine.
Okay. They're more of a threat to Thorgrim than they are you. At least yeah. right off. Yeah, right off, I was about to uh, say. Oh my lord. Uh, they, those boys have been allowed to fucking breed. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think I would have let them breed up to like nearly three full stacks yet, I'm going to be honest. Uh, I had other problems, Chief. Uh, that uh, is and, fair. And that they were fighting, fair. and they were fighting uh, the uh, Crooked Moon up here until Thorgrim went through and took <laughs> all this. Yeah. Let's see. Nor that. Nor that. Uh, let's go ahead and get that upgrading. Okay. Back up to eight peaks with that dude. Okay, next turn I can uh, jump the mountain and be over there, Josh. If I wanted to replace my uh, two skink cohorts and this normal skink skirmisher in Krypka's army with some uh, units from Chiefs, uh, <coughs> what units would you use? The Way Watchers, probably. The best archers I can give you are Way Watchers. In fact, on. Uh... On the uh, the balance pass from the DLC, uh, they actually buffed Way Watchers, which astounded me. Uh, okay. Takes two turns to fucking ramp them up, but I do need to wait for some other shit anyway.
Okay, that's why my income went up. I got more upkeep reduction. Neat. Ooh. <clears throat> Okay, I probably should upgrade that. I was trying to get fucking some Ashina ambushers on my third army. No, but I man. didn't have them upgraded yet. Uh, who? Anyone else around Skarsnick? Scarbrand yeah, is Scar right Brand. next to one of Thunder's armies. Or rather, he's right next to Kimri, which Thunder owns. Yeah, he's actually on top of that. Is he already fighting you, Thunder? Uh, not He's yet. not fighting any of us yet. Oh, okay. Then I'll take it. Uh, I'll be nice and try to pull him off of you. Uh, I'd appreciate that. I can definitely uh, start fucking with I would with go ends. deal with Scarbrand for him, but I gotta stay down here and being an eternal Mexican standoff of Kairos. Yeah, once I get done with this middle army Africa, uh, Renfelsen, um taking, taking out the greenskins, He'll go over there, and then I'll bring uh, Thorgrim down. Oh, man, the blue scribes over here fucking trying to give me shit, apparently. Of course, the AI has no problem getting the scribes. I eventually was going to get them on air run. It's just that uh, their quest line is kind of AIDS. Right. So is egg molds a little bit. I'm gonna lie, it really feels like the order tide's gonna be winning before turn like sixty five. Well, what was that? I chaos undivided. Um uh, that's all that's one of my scouts, that's fine. I almost certainly did not click a fucking um, okay, whatever, Ken. Um, oh, okay. I'm gonna have to stop what I'm doing and pull Thorgrim because, uh, yes. We're not Thorgrim, but I'm gonna have to. Conditions. Oh, hello, Malika. Let's hit you with a Coven's Curse mark and fucking steal half your movement. Nope, let's not. Jesus yeah. Christ, how horrifying. Half his movement. Yeah. Yeah, I steal half his movement and all his winds of magic are up by 40% and it disables march underway and teleportation. God damn. Oof. Uh, if I upgrade it, then he literally can't move for two turns. It's pretty terrible. It is. It's horrific. <laughs> Alrighty. Ignore that. I'll come back for you later, rat man. Let's see. Where is where's my twilight standard? There it is. Quit that for now.
I'm almost positive I clicked uh, two-way watchers, but when the next turn came, I somehow got like... Uh, what's I it hope Thorgrim comes out. And I somehow grabbed a, a Wildwood Ranger and a Way Watcher. Uh, I think it's miraculous you managed to do that. I have no idea how the fuck I did. Because they're nowhere near each other on this fucking thing. I'm just almost like fucking Zinch did some fucking wizardry. Okay, got that. Fucking Zinch! Jump there. Ah, there's more gore. Turn out post available off. Turn in down. <clears throat> now let's hope they don't dump uh, 20 <coughs> stacks on eight peaks. Well, it's going to happen. Yeah, I hope you have the home guard. I've got one dude sitting there, and Bell Belgar's one turn to behind. Hope and Thorgrim's up there. Hopefully, he'll get yeah. in the way. Miles has ended his non-aggression with me. Uh, so long as you have an army and some backup, I think you're good. Uh, I do. Good. I do. I've got a little. Uh, if. I think it's all honestly in process of going to a tier, I guess two, um, gate. But I'm think I'm gonna turn off from it being tier two. It's only tier one right now. Oh, go fuck yourself, Kalita. Oh well. What she do? Killed off Thoric, and I oh, need two I more dwarf that. battles. Yeah. What a bitch. Why don't you just go kill Dirtha? Uh, because I'll lose Dirtha. And? He's not hurting no one by existing. He's trending towards a negative 80 with me, so you're going to have your, uh, you're going to have it answered for you soon. <laughs> There shall be blood. Well, <sighs> now. No. Oh. What's going on, Gilly? One of the armies is blowing up all against eight peaks. 
Yeah, two of them did. My blood runs cold. My memory has just been sold. Uh, oh, yeah, I'll give that to the dwarves because I need some speed. Oh, wait. Okay, there's hope. Mm. Uh, Thor Thoric still exists at Serpent Coast, but if I leave, uh, I might, have, might be losing Orion's camp to Kairos, who is starting to devour more of Tic-Tac-Toe. Now it gets busted. I just need three more uh, turns until I'm heading into his backside down there, Chief. Right. Thunder's going in his back door. Yeah. Oh, no. Come here, Morgor. You need to die. Yay, he did. This thing, it's like I want to take Zeus Bar back, but I really don't know if I want to start that fight with Vlad. It'll be rough. It is doable, but it'll be rough. How much, how much property does the uh, Wood Elves control up here? I really don't know. Dracha has lost the Griffinwood to Azhag. I, I just noticed. Guess I might go up here and fight him instead. I don't think he has an empire like fucking Vlad does, and it's not. The army I've got over here is not really that great. Once I get done wrapping up rat people, I've got to send Thorgrim down to fight Scarbrand. Where do you want the Glamour Weaver to go, Josh? Uh, you can go up the pipe over there. Uh, left or the right? Left. And I'm going to go back right and start going back around. Right. I'm, I'm going to go like... Uh... God damn, give me my pointer. Nope. I, uh, whatever. I, I can't even... 
Fuck anyone you, over there do anything fucking makes it so it goes away, so. Man, the Dread Fleet's dead, and so is Bellacore. Okay, I'm about to end turn. Uh, make sure I'm not forgetting anything across these, like, seven armies I have across the map. I will think about it. <clears throat> um. I don't know. The, the hate missile see if. Yep. God damn. Yep. Well, I kept him off of you a few turns. Yeah. I am one strength rank higher than him. <laughs> but can you face, you know, Starbrand uh, himself? There's Kairos coming to raid on your on your uh, side lawn, Thunder. Yeah, I see him over there. And uh, they lost trade agreement with Moz. Oh, the Tomb Kings? No, Moz. No, Moz, Fat and Heavy. No, no, the one before that, uh, Raiding Thunder's Land. No. no. That's, a bi that's a Big Bird. Oh. Yeah, good old Big Bird himself. Kairos Fate Weaver. He's the okay. greater demon of the inch. I was like, man, I was like, I'm in decent relations with the Tomb people. Hmm. <laughs> I guess they liked that I got rid of the rat scum that was fucking stealing all their bones. Safeguard. Mm. Like I want the money, but I don't want to let chaos into my area. Ignore that. Okay. Clan Moors.
Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Which one did you stop? Pack it, blow it up. I'm starting to make the trinkets I wanted, the dead dead eye string. Plus twenty percent whip and or plus twenty percent base and armor piercing missile damage. Ooh, okay. Yep. Disgusting. Yep. It begins. All righty. Um, let's details. Let's see here. Uh. Let's see, I wish to feel that. Oh well, here goes nothing. Wait. Oh. Just don't end your turn when you're done. <laughs> you doing? This. What's, what the fuck is going on with this? Uh, Kairos is pushing up against Orion's camp and, uh, Settlements Thunder owns in Kimry. And he's not in the garrison and he's in raid stance. And I'm like, well, this is as good as a chance as I have to manual Kairos. Surprisingly, uh, Kurt from the Peelant Gallery. Do what now? So surprisingly, Kurt from the Peanut Gallery. I mean, the AI is not very good with magic, so Tzitzian armies are not as hardcore as they should be. <laughs> okay, like, he's level 30, he should be able to, like... He should have the ability to just have, like, massive damage resistance, become unspottable and stalk, like, constantly just blast Chief's entire fucking force with, like, bells. Um, should have Gaze of Fate, the Staff of Tomorrow. Like, he's got regrowth, but he's not maxed out hardly any of his actual magic, which is insane. Like, I, I, I don't know. It's just... Interesting. He should he should be way tougher, but the AI never levels up mages correctly or uses them correctly. So um, Dude Bro does have the greater gate of Zinch though, so he can summon uh another Lord of Change, which it depends. Right. 
Depends on how much they cheated. Uh... I'll be right back. Let's see, and then maybe that just in case bodyguard. Oh, you can have them. All right. It'll be fine. The only flyers they have are Furies and uh, Kairos himself, who is not exactly a good fucking duelist. Mm, I could have swore his melee statistics were not that shit, but apparently nah, the birds could just fucking dog super his shit. Ass. Like I was like, I am not scared of anything in the air right now, friend. <laughs> I just want to see power this. The darkness. It's gonna be odd. I just want to see this. Mm, it stripped some of his stuff. Mm -hmm. it stripped all his barrier. We got white watchers in the background. Yeah. Let's see if this does any damage. Mm. It was all right. Mm. God damn, yeah, Kairos just fucking sold his ass. I don't fucking know. Who's selling whose ass? The Fate Weaver. He ah. just... He just threw himself to the wolves. He really did. This man with like fucking at least rank seven units, like all of the fucking units in his army, he was just like, you know what? I'm just gonna give them the win. That's the problem is the AI so hit or miss. You just never yeah. know. <laughs> I don't think they're, they'll ever put the time, money, and effort to make it any better. The AI used to be not, like, they used to not be, they're not, they were never fucking, like, masterminds, but they used to be pretty decent. Okay, that's... There we are. Let's just hit you all. That's, that's a huge blob. Get y'all a little bit of the old soul stealer. Dark's always a weird war for me. They, he didn't have enough, like, good heroes for me to drop, like, a bunch of soul stealers. And Blade Wind is... I never want to drop it near you because I know for a fact it'll spin into your melee uh, line no, and kill it's fucking as bad everyone. As, it's as bad as fucking chain lightning. Yeah. So I, I'm not, I got about 10 grand out of it, but nothing like obscene. Yeah. I mean, the best spell I found to spam is literally fucking a chill wind. Yeah. But I was dropping a doom bolt on his dumb ass. Yeah. 
Then yeah, I'm with you, Lord Dark. That's the only uh, Lord Dark I have. Now, if there's they have a mass hero spam, Soul Stealer will fucking beat them like a redheaded stepchild. But yeah, I'm trying to steal his Knights of Zinch real quick. That's fine. some of the heroes use some chill wind to brick them let's just fast forward god damn those knights are desperate to live yeah they're getting out of here man <laughs> all right and yeah. that's good enough they were like we gotta get out of here <laughs> We gotta get out of here. The boss is down. Go, boys, go. Go. <laughs> yeah, I only have the one dark lore. It's just for the office position. Now, before Soul Stealer got, like, taken out back and beat with a rake, it used to, like, fucking just destroy anything it was dropped on, but... It was just, you know, Spirit Leech better. Yeah. It's too good and competitive. Had to uh, take it out back and kill it for all game modes. No yeah. figure. It's all right. They've tried to destroy the lore of fire like six times, but they can't do it. Is it just because fire, lore of fire is passive? Just too good to compensate for the nerfs to damage? That, they can't completely take away its damage. Um, Otherwise, it's just not a lore. Yeah, because all it does... Is, you know, that and uh, Flaming Sword of Ruin is probably still the best buff spell in the game. Yeah. I like how you're not strapped to the bird, you're just right on its neck with your, like, fucking ankles thrown around its throat. With one hand on the fucking bird's headdress, holding on for dear fucking life. Yeah. <laughs> Take me away, big bird. <clears throat> I bet you it reaches the speeds of Mock Birdie. Mock Birdie, eh? Let's see. Alrighty. Let's see what's going on now. Mm, spell Resistance Lord's Army. That's pretty damn good. Hmm. Okay. There we are. More army buffs. Let's see, 50, 44, um, okay. Okay, and in turn... No, oh, wow. I did not think I would have done that much damage to uh, Kairos's uh, military strength. You just fucking straight up kicked him in the dick. More like I fucking drop kicked his ass. Oof. 
I also like how I have like all these uh, armies helping around, but uh, Tyrion is still strength rank one. <laughs> I was our toast. I killed Morgor for you, and your first instincts to war deck me. It's not like I was going to war deck you once I got down there. Ha 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 Trying to beat you to the punch. You came out, buddy, and I busted your nuts. <clears throat> I'm, I'm hoping <clears throat> in either uh, Thrones of Decay or the one after that when they we get the next war free work that uh, we get like Joseph Bugman or some of the some of the other lords the, the dwarves and they rework the rune system of Crumb. And I would I would even take uh the the, the dwarf in charge of Crack Norn. Get his name. What the fuck is this? All right. Three dual weapons. Marauders should be fine. Forsaken, maybe. Uh, five chariots of corn. Oh my fucking god. Mm. Uh, thoughts on that army there, Jerry? Do what now? He can't see it because oh. he's not close enough to actually see past the mystery boxes. I'm yeah. not close. I can't even see the mystery boxes, and I'm the closest of the of everyone in the team speak. But I will just dump that in the group chat, I guess. Sieging him will not be the best idea. You're going to suffer some because of the Crimson Lake there. Uh, what if it pulls some out, though? I mean. I, I I'm I just mean sieging them won't be a good idea, but in uh, general, okay. Yeah. Um, I mean he's not got a very stiff front line. Most of those are marauders. Um, but you've got skinks. Uh, so you're gonna get fucking bowled the fuck over. Um. And with one, two, three, four, five, I don't think you have enough to resist the five chariots and the fucking skull crushers and the fucking doggos, I will say. Okay. You might be able to do it, but it would be disgusting. Um, <laughs> the red crested skinks were not built to fight Cornate Berserkers. Go figure. Yeah. Uh, please tell me you're at least getting on fine with the donut, Josh. Uh, sort of? Why? Because I'm starting to enter the Order Tide Super Pact.
I would really like to get more on board with some of the the elves, but they're they're kind of standoffish to me. Um, I I'm a strategic have... threat, and they disapprove of Gillum. The strategic threat's such a stupid thing. It's the AI thinks you're too big, so Diplo's stupid. I know. I have rulers tolerance that's helping me like bridge treaties with the entire donut, but it's slow. Uh, yeah, that's right. I want to move around. See, quick for horn I'll run. And you're gonna take that. You're gonna take that. Let's see. Put that back on the sisters. Okay. Alrighty, and turn soon. <clears throat> Lick. <clears throat> Could run away, Gillum. but I want to see if this is it. Yeah. Oh my fucking sweet baby Ray's. Yeah, what's your name, Josh? Do what now? Oh god. I said my name. No, no. I I was like, what's going on? And it, I'll. It's this. It's fucking this. <laughs> exactly. The army. What I they could. Yeah. I don't know why I've constantly told you, like, skinks can't hold a line, skinks can't hold a line, skinks can't hold a line, like, and you're just like, I ah, fuck it, just, I only need <laughs> fucking, like, five melee units. You mean one real melee unit and, uh, chaff? I mean, the red, cra the, the fucking regiment around is okay, because they're, They've got the special ability where models can't die if they pop it. I know, but... You have to strategically uh, use that. I'm actually surprised the balance of power is considered even. Also, lock that the terrain is not too favorable. We may be able to cheat a little bit, but... Yeah. If he's going to quarter camp, it's going to be right fucking there. And it's corn, and I mean, he has air superiority just straight up, don't he? Yeah. So we can probably cheese this, but it'll just, it'll be fucking horrific. Cheese with that. Josh, my skirmishers. I'm not gonna promise you anything because he has uh he's got corn dogs and 
they may rip my jugular out. <laughs> Stupid as shit, but I love it. He's got he's got them corn dogs. <laughs> them he's got them corn dogs. Uh, they might come up and rip my jugular out. Yeah, I probably will. Pimples. <laughs> mm, okay. He, he loves his little pities. Uh, I see a bold strategy to not corner camp. He's he's going with it. Uh. Which corner did we decide on the left or the right? You can literally only use that one if you're going to actually try to use the grudge throwers. Whatever you did, you didn't do anything because that one didn't. Nothing appeared on the map. I guess I'm using the ping function. Guess my ping and manuals just don't work. I mean, I assume it's that corner because the other corner is a fucking downhill slope. Yeah. <laughs> Let them get that extra charge bonus rolling down that hill to fucking hit you at 40 miles an hour. Yeah. Yeah, the little skink bodies will stop the corn dog chariots. Yeah. The corn dog chariots. <laughs> they have a dream. <laughs> uh, their They're dream's going well. to be crushed and not being ran over by a man frothing about blood for the blood god in a chariot. Yeah. Alrighty. Man, these Blessed Skink Skirmishers got 70% spell resistance. Too bad we're fighting fucking corn. If yeah. only 70% spell resistance was 70% yeah, axe resistance. Much, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Needs to be flipped to the other side of the coin. 12 fucking years to set up an army. I uh, know. Uh, I, I could have already wanted this, uh... and killed myself by now. Well, it's more <laughs> I wanted to fucking have this uh, Bastilla down here, like fucking support the skinks. I just couldn't fucking get the damn one unit to turn like an asshole. We know you special. He's still not facing the right direction, but that's fine. Fuck you, dogs! Man, those <laughs> dogs can move fucking 95 speed. Bork. Yeah. But can they outrun a firebomb? <laughs> Oh no, the, the fucking chariots are coming for me. I can't do much to those. Oh no, I run. I run can soften furnitures. up the corn dogs. Run. Fucking run. The chariots are on their way. The chariots are on their oh, way. Oh man, that was a good hit by the Stagadon. Oh no. Not like this. Oh man, he summoned on you. He summoned additional corn dogs. Nah, he summoned additional blood letters. They're tying up the the grudge throwers, making sure they can't get away. Man, them chariots just don't care about the stack of dawn. They're just like them fucking skink skirmishers. We're gonna get you, you little sons of bitches. Oh, yeah, they are. Oh, no. Not like this. Not like this. And Thunder doesn't stop the melee. Stop him from spreading his units out. I love it. Come on. Hadouken. Oh no, they got that charge on me and bricked like fucking 800 health just riding through me once. At least I've been, been able to stop them from continuously doing that.
Fuck you, dogs. <laughs> I'm trying to keep them split up. Uh, the chariots are coming after me, as are the heralds, the brass heralds. I'm coming to annoy the brass heralds. Uh, no, no, they uh, caught me. They got close enough to trick or charge oh, no, they're behind us again. Come on, my pretties. Run. Run. Get away. Flee from them. Fucking goddamn, they really want that fucking blessed Stegodon. Yeah. You shouldn't have let him stay out there in the fucking... No, Rush. he's he's doing fucking God's work over there. Uh, he definitely is. Yeah, I still wouldn't have just sacrificed him to the, the will of the gods. No, no, they, they won't be a sacrifice for long. Gotta wait for the pterodons to stack up. Drop them! Oh, God. Man, look at all that free damage I got. And then it caused a mass terror out. And look at that, the Blessed Stagadon is free. God damn, bro, stop running from me. No. There we go, give it to me. Oh, wow. Mere chaos warriors of corn. <laughs> Meet Skink on Pterodon with fucking firebomb grenade. Oh, Come God. Here, Marauders, give me that booty. Oh, uh, no. Oh, wait, that's right. Volleys and volleys of blow pops. Eat it, eat it, eat it. Uh, come on, let come, come on. There you are. That should be good enough. Literally, uh, wins because of a fluke. Literally, like half or half or a third of the melee infantry got caught up trying to mosh pit the blessed stag it on. They craved it. They All five and chariots them. and the uh, and the brass dudes, the riders, and two groups of uh, fucking infantry came after the skirmishers. So uh, then I dropped rocks on the mosh pit around the Stegadon. Watched a mass terror rot, rot, ah, route happen. It was beautiful.
Skill and tried to eat 38 demons. Yeah. He was eating him some corn dogs, really. Yeah. Yeah, as soon as they got in the mosh and they were like, we can't just run away and mock corn. I was like, yes, ass. <laughs> One of the corn dogs got caught, like, tried to encircle him and I was like, firebomb! And I blew up the whole, the corn dogs almost immediately. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I was just right there for that. The corn dogs. Yeah, it was like, damn. <laughs> I'm so hungry for corn dogs. Yeah, that was one of those. It could have burnt my mouth. Those corn dogs were so hot. God damn. Uh, the trade on that was pretty good. I'll take it. Uh, it's one of those. I don't believe by any right that army should have won, but it did. Well, we had to play the battle. Oh yeah, mm, I'm strength rank three, eh? Who who knocked me from strength rank two? Maybe Tyrion. Tyrion's Carl. been strength rank one all game. Maybe Vlad, Carl. Yeah, it's got to be Vlad or Thorgrim. Probably Thorgrim. They have wronged us. How do you tell? No, uh, I just Jeff know. Well, we can tell in the diplomacy menu. I too. just know because the uh, the order tide is fucking oppressive. Okay. Uh, nope. Grimgor uh, actually took really, over number one. Really, Grimgor and uh, Slovenia is number four. So the order tide is not so oppressive. The Barrel Legion in at number six. I'm almost positive Grimgore wasn't one, then he just popped a wall. And he's like, okay, I'm number one now. I popped a wall. No one ever was. Whoop that ass. Oh, Scarbrand, why are you over here, man? Go away. <laughs> that was real quick. Uh, that, was, that was an immediate, oh, sweet God, get it away from me. Yeah, he riding over here. Him and March stance, Bubby. Um, I think I'm gonna go over here and try to pour this garrison. Um, there we go. I will travel across the lands because I don't want to be fucking here. God, why does he have so much? Die is my true test. <laughs> yeah, him <laughs> and his buddy are right here. This is gay. It's always been my dream. <laughs> Do not die. Do not die. <laughs> Gotta dodge him all holy fuck. Brunk. <laughs> that Damon that's trying to give me the suck. Oh god no. <laughs> what edition Damon Ed is it? Like are we talking like are we talking like an older edition where they actually look like they've got like tits instead of like horrifying just you know growths all over them or like uh well god i get into who's who's in the current aren't very attractive but the older you know versions were they were they were at least mildly okay see i'm thinking newer daemonites no no i'm i'd rather not you can keep that I mean, I never said the guy in the song wanted to get sucked off by the Damonettes. <laughs> I mean, I guess that's true. <laughs> they are simply attempting. I do not consent. <laughs> okay, I don't know how that was. That was a thing, but okay, game. I literally was sitting outside the the camp in the fucking underground stance mm-hmm. and uh, could only see the army outside the settlement. And so when I waged war, there was a whole fucking 20 stack sitting inside the settlement. Like, I was literally had my front door on it. I was like, my foot is on your front door. How in the hell could I not see what was in that settlement? Thanks, AI. You the best. Oh, uh, you you actually went to Nagajar. Oh, well, they're scaven. That's why. No, no, I knew they were scaven, but the thing is, I tunnel stanced right beside the first dude. Yeah. Like, right there. 
and it was like just him. And then as soon as I waged war, it was like, oh. That's because Skaven armies don't exist until you war deck them and, like, touch the settlement. You have to no. touch the settlement to see anything about it. Okay, I thought since I was literally on top no, of it, no. I, I would be able to see nope. it. I knew no, there was you, something you, there. Uh, you physically have to touch the settlement. Otherwise, it just looks like ruins. Actually, let me read. Let me double look at this. What if I land this? Yes. Doesn't matter. Well, okay, so Malik is conjuring up seven heroes to stuff in his army. Turn one. Yeah, you I'm about to be pressed up to the edge of the chaos waste next to the altar of ultimate darkness. So I killed one of the armies and I'm going to try to stomp that one out. <laughs> and that'll be the last of that that rat thing and my fucking rat infestation over here will be gone. Oh, man. Oh, are you talking about fucking the gashes, sir? We are. Yeah. Jesus Christ, Gillen. What? Nothing. I, I just thought we'd uh, been around that motherfucker so many times he knew about it. It'd be all right. It was never all right. Yeah. Yeah, you're probably right. It was probably never all right. It was never all right, Gillum. Fucking Josh uses that as like a fucking slave ground for his chaos dwarves. Because <laughs> it's always full and they never move. There you go. I'm finally about to start fucking running through uh, uh, Kaizo fucking whatever his name is. Uh, backside. Kaizo Mario's backside.
Are the Pahua Sentinels good? I have no clue, man. Fucking talking to ghosts, apparently. I don't know what regiment of renown that is. Yeah, they're just normal Pteranodon rider. Yep. I turned past. Yep. Yep. Is it happening, Gillum? Yeah, it's my turn to fight. My turn to fight Scorbrand. Hells yeah. Really, that's still considered a valiant defeat. Yeah. I actually need to upgrade it some. <clears throat> those uh those miners are just too hurt. Uh, those miners aren't that good. Like they help with the front line, but I haven't yeah, no, haven't they... taken the time to upgrade them because I've been trying to upgrade the infrastructure. I was just joking because it's like it seems if like you, you should be extra money, money you know, I've got thirty or forty grand sitting. They don't want your money. I know. I try to I try to be self sufficient. You know, we're still helping you fight the battles, so like And I it's kind of my fault because uh, <laughs> I didn't realize Scar uh Scarbrand was uh that close. Um, until I just happened to almost want to take my turn. He'll wait for his reinforcements, old man, so just go corner camp. Yeah. And that, that's an amazing corner right fucking there. Pretty much barely even have to go back. Mm. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. <laughs> Look at them miners, them sixty niners. I'll layer we'll them up like that. that. Yeah, we'll we'll layer them up. Well, we'll make two lines because where he's right. got, well, they've got a lot of mass on some of their units. Mm -hmm. We'll make a double line so that uh, okay. if they crunch through one, the other one might catch them. Let's see if I can. It's all right. You'll you'll have time. There you but go. Chief's got to pull the grudge throwers back anyway. All right, here we go. Give it to him, Neil. Why are y'all doing that? There we are. I'll speed us up a little bit while we're moving. Oh. Don't shoot. Yeah, I was gonna say, by God, the fucking 
Thank goodness the fucking miners with the blasting charges didn't just throw them into the line. Yeah, just yay. I toggled off fire at will. Okay. I'll okay, continue. I didn't know you had control of them. Yeah. 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 yeah you have control of everything about your units. Yeah, they did that once. Uh, no, I mean, I didn't know you I had were controlling them. Yeah. Uh, they like at the end of the fight when the fucking thing was routing, they were like, "Here's a blasting charge on my fucking like Slayer <laughs> Giants," and I was like, "Fucking what are the hell are they doing?" They're getting rid of the rest of the enemy. Yeah, with the Slayers <laughs> as well. Yeah, <laughs> they're helping them seek death. Yeah. Um, the the dwarves are strong proponents of uh, assisted suicide. Get, get off that! Get off that! And just get the fuck away. I mean, what is being a slayer if not assisted suicide? Yeah. I mean, really? Can you tell me? Not wrong. Okay, then. No complaints here, Judge. Okay. Well, at least he's getting these out early. Yeah. Uh. Uh, that kind of dwarf and mass works both ways. Half the slayers wouldn't join the melee because they were caught in some of the bricks of quarrelers. Those uh, other slayers weren't really about seeking death at that moment. It's... <laughs> There. Perfect. Oh man. Our Auric Reynolds and you've got he's got the ring of grin oh, there. Oh my god, this man. Yeah, he's got the ring of grim near and he should have uh an armor that's really good nope. for him too. God damn, he finally got some of the goddamn grudge throwers because fucking he just won't stop fucking trying to lick your asshole. I mean, if I had summons, I would be summoning directly on top of the three, not on the corner of them. But it's the AI, so... I enjoy those slayers just sitting there fucking caught up on the grudge stores just like yeah we seek I mean, death slay- but not that <laughs> yeah the slayer in us seeks death you like the uh the cornate motorcycle that's coming to plow through us thunder uh, i like those guys not quite uh, wanting to die that much i guess no the the cornate motorcycle Oh yeah, man! Fucking, I remember the uh, the fucking cannon man. That's not a cannon. He just got a motorbike. Oh, okay then. Yeah. All right then. You that... can even hear it. You can hear the engine. Yeah, you, yeah, you can. Yeah. Yeah. Speed up a little bit. He killed a few. Uh, people but i mean he didn't destroy any models on the uh the grudge thrower so it don't matter scarbrand's about to get yeah and the uh and the missiles okay About yeah. to say he didn't get he didn't shoot him at all. I forgot that I still had fire at will off because I wasn't sure when the fucking summons were gonna be over. Well, and Starbrand is not being shot, and he is hitting the line. Oh, and it <laughs> and is gone ape shit. Yep, I was about to say, and the ape shit begins. And look at him just crushing through that double stack. God damn, he was just like, I'm sorry. Did you reinforce the line? 
I thought it was made of balsa wood and glue. That's all right. The chariots accidentally charged the Pete Gate Garden. Where, yeah, they got the fucking shit kicked out of them, and they were like, maybe this was a stupid fucking idea. <laughs> we'll, we'll charge someone who's not got adamantium armor and double-handed fucking, like, armor-sundering war malls. Nah. That's a much better fucking idea. Goddamn Scarbrand wanting them to die, apparently. The right flank is going to fucking shatter like glass in a minute. Most likely. They got pulled out of uh, position yeah. because of the fucking rampage is all. Out oh, fucking Scarbrand was spasming there for a second. That's right, die, you stupid bitch. Bye, Scarbrand. Bye. Bye. Have Bye. a great time. Oh, nope, you fucking what? He rallied. Oh, there it goes. God damn. He accidentally stepped into the Pete Gate Guard. One of them kneecapped him as he ran by. <laughs> God damn, what can I can do donuts in the yeah. center? Oh, no. I got, I'm getting real tired of it to the point that after I shot Scarbrain to death, I'm shooting it to death. <laughs> Oh, man. Because it cared not for, like, 60 Slayers I told the dog pile it. <laughs> God damn. The Pete Gate Guards lived through not only Scarbrand hitting them directly, but they've killed 130 people in Rising. They're going to lose eventually, but they'll fight to the death. Trying to protect our our, our, our Alaric Reynolds and you should probably destroy the Cornate War Shrine over here, fucking being a menace to society. What Ivar over there? Yeah. Oh man, they're not having fun with it anymore. I hit him with armor sundering from the pig gate guard, but they're being kind of uh, shredded now by everything. But he's dead. There, I did ye old point blank catapults to free up the the left flank. And I'm trying to find an angle to fucking start lobbing the uh, the fucking mess on the uh, right side. Now is the season of our discount tent. Almost 30,000 value on the Pete Gate Guard.
And that was for a second of corn with the fucking claws on their goddamn hands. Look pretty cool. Not gonna lie. Yeah. Oh no, the pink gate guard might actually die. No, no, army losses is starting to kick. Pull back, pull back, don't die. Oh god, twenty eight thousand value and two hundred and fifty men's deaths. <laughs> Alrighty. Oh, Corlers, shoot those fucking rank eight marauders of corn. <laughs> yeah, goddamn. <laughs> Man, I, I lost, uh, I had so much downtime just dealing with the fucking donutting, like whatever <laughs> that was. <laughs> It went too terrible till the uh, fucking Scarbrand hit the line, and second he hit the line, it was just like there's a hole. Yeah. That's yeah. Everybody's go. See. Everybody's doing the fucking madness dance. <laughs> no, <laughs> like... my problem was the fucking large demon creature who was doing infinite donuts, and was like these slayers can't hit me if they're being ragdolled. <laughs> yeah, I think he drove in right after. <laughs> fucking Scarbrand made that hole. He was just like, yeah. don't mind me, this is perfect. The Blood Reaper there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just coming in doing sick fucking nasty donuts. Yeah, the Pete Gate Guard just fucking mulching men. Yeah. None can withstand the war mallets. Yeah. <laughs> the war mallets. Alaric got booped a few times by Scarbrand. He yeah. survived Scarbrand. <laughs> yeah, I, I sicked him and the, the other dude on him, and they, they punched him in the dick a whole bunch. Uh, the Quarler shot Scarbrand up pr pretty good. I, it I took don't think so that, many uh, volleys because he had so much resistance. I, I don't. I don't think. Uh, I don't think uh, Alric and his <laughs> friend could have fought Scarbrand on their own. I think no, Scarbrand no. might have. Yeah, I think he would have beat him, but they they slowed him down long enough to him to get volleyed to death. And that's all that matters. Yeah. Yeah. That's a win in my book. It is. Just give it time, it'll reconnect. Yeah. Yeah, you got Alric's armor. Black. Just gotta give it time.
Come on. I know you can fucking resync. Come on. Come on, baby. I believe in you. Come on. Come on now. Come on. I know you can actually reconnect. There we go. No man dreams you can true. Yeah. With patience comes great savings. Yeah. <laughs> With patience comes great savings. That sounds like a good slogan like at, <laughs> at like a car dealership or some <laughs> shit. Yeah. I like how now it's a close victory. Mm -hmm. I guess since they came out. They sallied. Now the walls aren't in play. Yeah. I'm going to sack it. Now no one can tell you not to. No. Now I'll take it. Yeah, I couldn't pass up 16,000. You mean? The age of rage. I will say that it's a bad habit to get into sacking. Oh, this is the first one I've sacked the whole thing. Okay. I, I just mean, uh, in general, it's a bad habit to get into unless you're playing a specific faction like Orcs or Skaven that can uh, manipulate sack values and shit like that. Or oh, your Wood Elves and your entire economy runs on raising. Yeah.
can send in your passes now, old man. I appreciate it. Mm -hmm. I don't think fuck I put Way Watchers in Orion's army. Yep. We might either have to fight a battle or I'll have to uh, load up old Talix over here with 40,000 fucking uh, icons. <laughs> 40,000 icons. I've, I've got a few of the old hexes and Mama has a few hexes in her bag. Grandmama is going to fucking turn you into nothingness. To get Bretonia, Branch of the Orden, Empire, Greenskins, Grand Cafe, Still Need Hales, Warriors of Chaos, Beastmen, Chaos, and Ogres. Confederate. Uh, rarely do I see Lord on Force survive this long. Got a new trinket because I have a defensive alliance with Nuln. Hell yeah. Lindsay dying in the background. Yeah.
Mm-hmm. All righty. In turn now. Uh, actually, I'm going to take a quick look. Um, uh, there's Thoric. He's, uh, he's actually marching out to uh, try and find Kalita. Wish I could be over there fighting Thoric, but I gotta do my part and uh, keep Kairos uh, on the back foot. <laughs> got some help coming down to fight off the, the red angry men. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. I got a second army coming down to help push the red angry men back into the, the fucking dirty ass, nasty ass ash waste. <clears throat> Alrighty then. Yeah. I came out and clobbered one of them a minute ago, but I was like, I can't push any further. Army too banged uh, up. See. One pal, I think, got destroyed by Fat Peppy. Uh, let's see. That's going to be a nine. Hmm. Uh, one of the post-battle options is stuck on my screen. Hopefully That's always it won't, fun. Hopefully it won't prevent me from clicking in turn. It shouldn't, but but I've had that happen before. Mm. Like the one I accepted money one time and it did that, it shit the bed and was like, it was forever there. At least it's not the gold uh, bug from Warhammer 1 and 2. Yeah, I don't ever hear that again, thankfully. I love how I'm constantly just shadowed by like two or three heroes from Malekith everywhere I go and I can't get rid of them. Really fun. They want you to know they love you. I thought you had another army over here, Chief. Uh, what? By Malekith. Uh, continue campaign. Just over here on this continent in general. There we are. Thank you, Sartosa. You did.
Let's see, this box is still annoying. It stops me from being able to use the mini map. Oh, well. <laughs> God damn it. Let's see. Is it wartime with Maz finally? Yeah.
Oh, yeah. I didn't catch an ambush, but I just completely destroyed their entire army with just uh, uh, adding one or two curses. Nice. Sure, okay, sure. Now the Vlator Ox has spawned back on the map. Somewhere. We gotta retreat back and heal though, which sucks.
Alrighty. And turn. <laughs> oh, man. I finally got into some wooded areas up north near Nagarond and I've been able to get like 195% ambush chances along through here. It would have been better if I wasn't literally swarmed with heroes every turn, but. Yeah. Yep, they found me again. Fucking two heroes jump out of the army and immediately swarm me. 100% ambush chance, but they're literally just clinging to me like fucking limpets. It's, it's because so of retarded. their stupid ambush system. I know. I know what the cause is. That doesn't mean it's not retarded. Is Malekith at the point where he's just avoiding us, thank you? Yeah. He jumps back from me every turn.
there. Tyrion finally wanted a non-aggression. And got my trinket for having a half fucking roster. Amazing. Trying to help uh, smack you. Your red anger neighbor down a bit, Thunder. He ain't he ain't hurting nobody. No, not anymore. Not anymore. But uh, I'm waiting on him to come back. Yeah, he ain't hurting nobody. You just trying to, you're being mean to him. I'm uh no, I no, broke no. my military pack with uh Serpent Lady, so I could tell her her twenty stack over here near uh Iron Brow or whatever the fuck the fuck off. Yeah, because she fighting over uh, that place against um, Mamoramadon, Prince of Slaughter. Mamoramadon? Yeah. And see, so as soon as I finish pushing uh, the... Uh, oh, we're, we're pals with them. Um, Bloodhands, I should have them killed next turn completely. And uh, the Tomb Kings are pushing up in the bottom. I'm going to try to take Death Scourge next turn as well. Um, so if everything goes to plan, he'll have three provinces, and the Tomb Kings are looking like they're going to take that bottom one from him as well. I am going to put a save in there, though, because it's getting towards 2 o'clock. Yeah. I'm also being annoyed by this pop-up window. All right. Turn 57. Not too bad. I really don't like how Estonkia has to go all the way over to Kislev and take one of the main settlements before she can have anything else in all of her armies. Because the ambushers are really fucking brutal. Man, they're really brutal. But I'd like to have an army that's not just fucking machine ambushers. No. Yeah, I don't. Uh, I don't really get that because you're thrown literally across the world. Yeah, I mean, I can teleport back using Jinxed Land, but that means sending. You have to get an army together and have enough of an income to send a whole stack back. Yeah. So, or to gay, and then. I'm just now getting to the point where I can install the animal den so that I could actually get feral ice bears or feral bears. Um, and I mean, I could technically get war bear riders and elemental bears, but every, uh, like, I, I can get nothing but Ashina ambushers, Kossars, and melee units. Mm -hmm. So, oh, and I can't get patriarchs either. The one that I got was from a random. Uh, Event. Event, yeah. And uh I you just can't build them unless you control one of the the things back home. Right. So that's been annoying, but save is in. Doot do doot do doot do doot. Alright. Yo. See you boys uh tomorrow, Monday, whatever. Yep. Tomorrow, hey, buddy. Man. I'll I, I, Sunday's chore day, so I'll do a little bit of stuff, and I might be on. User disconnected from your channel. Ouch. Not everyone. Hey, bud. Bye, guys. User disconnected from your channel. Disconnect.